who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. I sure am, Miss Frost. Well, let's call a halt for today. You know, I think your dad will be very much pleased by this picture. Gosh, it's swell. Lightning looks so real, you'd almost think he's gonna win him. You're an awful good painter, Miss Frost. Well, thank you. Now run along. I'll see you in Lightning tomorrow, same time. All right. I'm back and beat you back to the ranch, Charlie. He's done for. Let's get out of here. You take the girl's horse. Dead too? No. Been knocked on the head. She's unconscious. He got knocked on the head too. So hard it killed him. What what happened? Who, who are you? I'm the Range Rider. It's my saddle partner, Dick West. Charlie! Where's Charlie? Well, he's been hurt. Hurt? How? Where? Now just take it easy. Lightning, he's gone. She's delirious. I'm not. I'm just dizzy, and, and I don't understand. Please tell me what happened. To be honest with you, honey, I don't know. Don't you? Charlie and I were riding along when all of a sudden I was yanked off my horse. And, and that's all I can remember. Where do you live? The Drag L. My dad's Jim Lyman. I'm Rusty. Oh, I wish I knew where my pony lightning is. She's passed out again, Dick. I'll take her home. You take him to town, then come out to the ranch. Right. Where are you going? Out to the spot where we found Rusty, before that trail gets cold. How is she? Yeah, she's not so good. Dad sent for the doctor. I think she's got a brain concussion. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Maybe you better stick here. Lyman's pretty worried and broken up. He needs moral support. Who doesn't? Uh 
Uh-uh, mister. Better put up your hands. Well, it's a downright pleasure to be held up by such a pretty road agent. Road agent? I thought you were going to steal my horse. Oh, I've got a horse. That's no alibi. I've got credentials, too. Let's see them. Put them down on the rock. The Range Rider. Oh, I'm sorry I mistook you for an outlaw. This... I know. I've been trailing three horse thieves for the last hour. They killed one of Jim Lyman's wranglers. They knocked out his little girl. Then they stole a horse and a pony. You seen anybody around here? Only you, and I've been up here painting all morning. Well, you're an artist. Yes, I'm Thelma Frost. Maybe you've seen some of my work. No, but I'd like to. Then follow me. Well? Well, I'm no expert, but it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> You're late. Range Rider, this is my brother, Vincent. Glad to know you. Why? Oh, I like meeting people, even if I find out later I don't like them. Well, I'd better be drifting, Miss Frost. I am glad I met you. So am I. Drop in the studio if your drifting takes you into Stampede. It will. Hmm. Congratulations. That was a nice job of antagonizing. Thanks. What was he doing up here? Looking for you. But nobody... Those two riders, but they didn't see us. I almost wish they had. Did you have to kill Charlie, knock out the little girl? She knocked herself out. Hit her head on a stone. I told you not to kill that wrangler. Or maybe you've forgotten that I give the orders. Oh, put that bolus away. It makes me nervous. You with nerves. <laughs> no wonder the gauchos swear by these things. You know, sis, I wouldn't mind going back to the Argentine someday. Hmm. The Argentine police wouldn't mind it either. Like it might be over where the boys are hiding now. You take them horses and dust. I'll keep you covered.
What happened? A fellow in buckskin surprised us. The range rider. What about Pate? Headed for jail, I reckon. You mean you let the range rider nab him? I didn't let him. I had to get these horses out of sight. If Pate talks, the range rider Take will... Take it easy, sis. Pate won't open his mouth, and that's for the range rider. When I get Pate out of jail, I'll take care of him. But, Rusty, you've got to stop crying, please. If you don't, you'll make yourself really sick. You know, when Lightning comes back, you won't be able to ride him. It's no use, partner. She's been like that ever since she came to. The doctor couldn't even do anything for her. He's given Rusty a sedative. It ought to start working pretty soon. It's tough losing a friend. Oh, she doesn't know about Charlie. It's lightning. I gave him to Rusty when he was born. It was only a few weeks after Rusty's mother passed away. Jim Lyman tells me these horses have been running wild around here. They sure have. The boss of this outfit's plenty brainy. Never leaves a clue, never makes a mistake. It's uncanny, especially the murders. Well, you mean there have been other killings? Three. The Slash D, the Running J, and the Raptor O. None of the victims are shot. Each was killed by a blow on the head. In each case, it looked like the victim was fallen before he was shot. That sure is strange. What do you make of it? Nothing yet. <laughs> What do you know about Thelma and Vincent Frost? Who? Not much, but I'm darn sure they're not mixed up in this. Who are they? Oh, I wasn't suggesting they were. I'm just curious. I met them this morning. Where? As far as I know, they're okay. Real nice folks. Where'd you meet them? You know, she's a right pretty girl. Well, of all the dirty tricks, you go out and meet a pretty girl and you keep quiet about it. There was something peculiar about Vincent, though. He gave me one of those dead fish handshakes. Yet both his right hand and his right forearm were overdeveloped. So what? So I'm curious about that, too. Miss Frost is a little bit too old for you, Dick, but I guess I'd better introduce you before you strain your brain trying to meet her on your own. I'll see you later, Sheriff. Come on. I hope we're not dropping in too soon. Well, of course not. I'm delighted to see you. Thank you. Miss Frost, I'd like to have you meet my friend and partner, Dick West. How do you do? Howdy. You know, you'd make a wonderful model, Mr. West. How about posing for me? Oh, no thanks. Oh, just a sketch, please. Well, gosh, Miss Frost, we're too busy. Well, a sketch doesn't take long, Dickie. Please. Go ahead. Well, gosh, I really couldn't. Please do. Well, okay, when? Well, there's no time like the present. Now, look, if you'll just stand over there by the window. Go there. Oh, please, Mr. West, don't look quite so grumpy. South America, Miss Frost? Oh, you mean the Mate tea? An Argentinian client of mine introduced me to that. I've grown quite fond of it. Well, I hope that doesn't apply to this, too. The façon? Hardly. What'd you call it? The façon. It's a hunting knife used by the gaucho. Yes, I, um, uh, I use it as a letter opener. <laughs> Here's your dinner.
You keep a sharp watch. Hey, don't leave me. Oh, I'll be right back. Mass men just broke our close mouth friend out of jail. Almost split my head wide open. I've been socked on the head by a gun before, and it's darn painful. It wasn't a gun, it felt like a couple of rocks. Rocks? Oh, that's loco. A fella couldn't trust his aim unless he used a slingshot or something. A slingshot? Yeah. That explains a lot. Huh? On what ranches were those Wranglers murdered? Slash D, the Running J, and the Rafter O. Why? Well, Thelma painted pictures on each one of those ranches. That would have given her plenty of time to study the layout and, and maybe plan those rustling jobs. You're not trying to say that she's the killer. No. A bolus is more of a man's weapon. Bolus? Yes, it comes from the Argentine. Three heavy balls covered with leather and tied together with rawhide thongs. Gauchos use them for catching wild horses and steers. But in this case, I think it's used to trip the victim who's then killed by a blow on the head. And I'll bet that Thelma Frost knows more about the Argentine than she admits. That may be hard to prove. Not if Jim Lyman's got some extra cash. Well, Jim's pretty well fixed. And let's ride out to the drag hill and see how much he's willing to gamble. $1,000 reward and no questions asked for return of Sorrel Colt bearing Drag L brand. Communicate with undersigned as to ways and means of making payoff. Jim Lyman. That's considerably more than that colt will bring across the line. Granted. But I'll give odds this is some sort of trick rigged up by the range rider. Oh, stop worrying about him. I'll take every precaution. You mean we will. <laughs> Leave cash at Blasted Tree, one mile due east, burn cabin on Skeeter Creek before five o'clock today. Ride away and stay for one hour. On your return, Colt will be tied to tree unless you notify the law. Go get it. What about the girl's pony? Not till we've got the cash in our hands.
It's all here. Let's go. No, you don't. charge of her now, Dick. You're not for being lightning back to me. Tell me something. When did you first tie Vincent Frost in with the killings? When I saw him with a bolus. You know, I think he was a little bit surprised to find out that I knew how to use them, too. Could you teach me to throw them? Sure. I'll give you your first lesson right now. Start running, Dick. Who, me? You're the only one around here named Dick. <laughs> Very funny. Very good. Very effective. <laughs> 